Malaysia is set to be the ASEAN chair in 2025. How can Malaysia play a role to amplify its stance on the global scale through the 10-member bloc to remediate the Palestinian-Israeli conflict? Malaysia should actually join forces with Indonesia uh, because that these two countries share the same sentiment toward, towards Palestine, the same sympathy and the same empathy toward Palestine. And I think gone were the days where every country wants to champion it on a solo basis, but rather if you form a group, then the voice will be greater and stronger. So I think Indonesia, Malaysia, as well as Brunei, uh, also with other 10 member countries of ASEAN should, should join forces in having a, a original stance to, towards, towards the conflict in Israel and Palestine. And this is, I think, would add more um, volumes and more narratives on how the world should actually react uh, to the conflict there. Um, when it comes, because Malaysia champions, as a matter of fact, Malaysia championed uh, pal, uh, Israeli's appetite before during Tun Dr. Mahathir's first time as a prime minister. That, well, that's a fact. And we have been very vocal about that uh, in the 1980s. But I think right now, I think we have lost the touch of being vocal towards Israel and Palestine. And we're just not talking about being vocal on the road or on the street. We want to be vocal in terms of the country's stance, in terms of the country's efforts and action plan towards solving the issue in Israel and, and Palestine.